Look at this Etsy shop. This shop is only selling digital items and has made over 43,000 sales. Now, if you look at their average selling price, it's somewhere around $2. What it means is that this Etsy shop has made over $86,000 in revenue so far. What if I said you could be raking in over $15,000 a month with the same strategy, all by harnessing the power of AI to craft and sell digital art? Yep, you heard it right. In this video, I will guide you on how to create best-selling digital art items using nothing else other than AI. Sounds pretty exciting, right? What's more interesting is that generating these digital art items is super easy. Also, if you don't know how to sell on Etsy or how to deliver your product to customers, don't worry, because this video is a complete guide on how to sell AI-generated digital art items on Etsy from generating the art to delivering it right to customers. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you receive updates on our future uploads. Okay, so enough talking, let's begin! The Types of Digital Art You Can Sell on Etsy If you go to Etsy and search digital art, you'll see hundreds of listings. With so many items on the list, it might get very confusing really quickly. Some of these listings are straight up presented as AI-generated art, like this one. Others are listed as digital art pieces, like this one. But what we are looking for is something special that people will find interesting, like a family tree digital art. A family tree art is pretty simple to create. For that, you just need the names of the family members and a simple tree template with designated slots for the names of the family members. And that's it! No catch! And as you can see, people are buying these digital art pieces and have even left positive reviews on the listings. These family tree digital arts can sell for any price, from $1 to as much as $8. Another type of digital AI art selling hot on Etsy is family birth flowers art. Here's how one looks. So here's how it works. Different flowers are assigned to the family members based on their birth months, and then the flowers are turned into art using AI. The flower art pieces are then put together and turned into a bouquet to represent a family. So, for example, March means daffodil, April means daisy, June means rose, and so on. Now, you might wonder, how can I create a family tree art or a family birth flower art? That's where AI comes in, and I'm gonna tell you how to do that. Setting up your Etsy listings. Okay, so first things first, you need an Etsy account. So, what you need to do is go to Etsy and create your account. Once your account is all set up, you'll have to create the listings. So, I would recommend that you create two listings at the beginning. One for the family tree art and the other for the family birth flowers art. As you can see, all of these digital art listings on Etsy have a similar structure. They have different mock-ups of the art, a description, and also a box for the customers to provide information on family members. So, first, go to Midjourney and ask it to create a family tree template in the style of digital art for a family of three members. Or you can ask it to generate different family birth flowers by entering the prompt, create a rose in the style of oil painting with a clear background. Midjourney will create the art for you. Then you can create different mockups of the art using free tools like smartmockups.com or you can simply use Canva. Once ready, you are all set to create your listings. Return to your Etsy account and create the listings for the family tree and family birth flowers art. To do that, go to Etsy and click here on Listings. Then click Add a Listing. From here, you can select either the item category as physical or digital, which in our case is the latter. So go ahead and select Digital. Scroll down and use the When Was It Made drop-down menu to select Made to Order. Now click Continue and give your listing a title. What I recommend is that you use relevant keywords so that your listing can rank higher in the search results. Then click here and upload your mockups as images you created a while ago. Then add a description for the listing. Now pay attention here, as this is one of the most important parts of the listing. You can refer to your competitors' listings to get an idea. Provide as many details as possible. 
Also include a clear disclaimer that a digital art file will be provided and no physical item will be shipped. Then scroll down and click Add Personalization to add a box in your listing, which the customers can use to provide the required information, like the family member names and their birth months or anything else they would like you to consider for the art. You should also state your requirements for the personalization box, like this one. You are almost done with your listing. Just add your price and quantity and select your category, which is a pretty straightforward process. Once you are sure that you have included everything that I mentioned in this video, click Publish, and you are done! Congratulations! Fulfilling an order Okay, so now that your listing is ready and all set to land on customer screens, all you need to do is wait for the orders to start flowing in. Once a customer stumbles upon your listing, they'll fill in the information in the personalization box. Once they check out and pay the amount, they'll see a message that says they'll receive an email with the digital art file ready for download. It's all done here for the customer. Now it's your turn to get to work. You'll see the pending order on your Etsy dashboard. Carefully check the information that the customer has provided, like the family member's names for the family tree art and other details for the family birth flowers art. If the order was placed on the family tree art listing, you should edit the AI-generated template to include the names of the family members. That's quite an easy task, and you can do that with different basic editing tools like Canva. Now, what if the order was placed on the family birth flowers art listing? For that, here are the steps you should follow. First, generate the flowers for each birth month using Midjourney. Then, remove the backgrounds using AI tools like Remove.bg. Once ready, you can combine these flowers using editing software to create a bouquet. Enter the required text, like the family name or names of the family members, and it's done! Save the file to your PC as a PNG or whatever format you like. So, here's the last step. Return to your Etsy dashboard and click Complete Order. Then click on Upload File. Finally, click on Complete Order, and you just fulfilled your first order. Once done, the customer will receive the file through email, which they can download. If you stay consistent and do everything right, I can assure you that you are going to earn a pretty decent amount of money from each listing. You just learned the AI side hustle that can help you make thousands of dollars right from the comfort of your couch without the need for any investment. Let us know in the comments if you have any confusion. And as always, we hope that you enjoyed our video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share it with someone who you think might be interested in the money-making AI side hustle. We will be back with another video soon.